It turns out that there's only a handful of doctors in the country who specialize in treating mold. It is an area that is not well taught and it is not well recognized. We as people living in our homes don't know this. And I think we're gonna wake up. I think it's coming, just like lead poisoning, tobacco. The symptoms of a mold allergy or reaction to exposure are similar to that of somebody that may have environmental allergies. You can have itchy, watery eyes, sneezing, runny nose. If you have asthma, you might experience wheezing or shortness of breath. Have you ever lived or worked in a place that had a water leak? Was there a roof leak or a toilet leak or your basement flooded? It's estimated that about 50% of the buildings in the U.S. are what we call WD, water damaged buildings. Because mold is gold, because people can sue you, like if That's you don't right. disclose that you've had a water leak. Yeah. Because landlords will flat out lie right. about mold exposure. So there, there's the physical aspect of the mold, which is just irritating. And then there's the toxic as aspect. And those toxins are really bad for your brain. They can cause weird neurologic symptoms like pain down your arm and legs. It doesn't look healthy, so it'll look what we call scalloping. The biggest complaints they have is brain fog. Another word for it is derealization. People literally sometimes don't even feel like they're in reality. A big symptom of a bad mold problem in your house is you're sneezing, you got runny, allergy kind of stuff. It turns out it's in a whole bunch of food. But, Another reason not to eat grains right. is mold. Well, so anything that's stored for a while, Coffee beans, uh, wheat, and corn are really bad too. 80% um, of the wheat and corn in the U.S. has multiple mycotoxins in it. We know this. <laughs> Thank you.